He's going to be a little bit careful here that he catches this thin enough, otherwise he could cannon into the blue on the way back down the table. Well, he has cannoned into the blue, but it sent the cue ball over towards the side cushion, so he's... Well, I'm saying he's OK. There might be a free shot here for Graham Dot. He can take this pot on and he can find the gap between the pink and reds here. Well, the reds were nicely spread about five minutes ago, but with this tactical battle, they're all getting a little bit awkward now. If he takes one of these reds on to the left corner, he'd cannon into the black with a natural angle. So if he did have a go, he'd have to get a lot of side on it, which would make the pot much more difficult. Now let's see what way he's going to play. He's putting the side on it, as you can see, right-hand side. Well, he, he did cannon the black, but he didn't take the pot on. But... Uh, Put side on it, which always difficult to judge. He didn't really need any side on that. He'd have been better playing playing ball. It would have been much easier to get a better contact on the uh, red. Just wondering if he's got a gap there where if he pots the black if he can avoid the blue and the green to get back up to the reds he's slightly hampered i think with the red he'll be bridging over but i think he might be able to find the gap here let's see what the bridging's like to see he may take it on the the other side of the green because there are there is lots of room there yeah. yeah he played it like a little stun shot now how's your luck graham Might just be okay Eight. if he can get through to this one that's near the corner pocket. Yeah, he can drop nicely onto the black. There's a little gap between those reds there. And you've got the perfect picture to see if he can pull the positional side of this off. Just watch as he rolls this in, if he can just get into that little gap. That'll do very nicely. Nine. And that little nudge on that red on the way up. There you see it. This red wasn't potable. Just that first red, he just nudged. He's brought that into a potable position. And puts this black. 
That's the next red he'll be taking. It's worked out a treat for Graham Dot there. 16. 17. He's so quick these days around the table when he gets in amongst the balls, Graham Dot. It's something, Ken, that he purposely oh, did a couple of, well, maybe five, six seasons ago. He, he was a little bit slower, wasn't four. he, when he was in the balls. Now he just plays much more fluently, and I think he's a better player for it. 25. Yeah, his average shot time is only 21 seconds, which is relatively quick. Ali Carter, as you see, 22 seconds, so it's quite quick. I'd say a few seasons ago, as you said, Dennis, Ali, well, Graham Dot might have been up at you know, 28, 29 seconds per shot, but as you said, he speeded up, trying to get a bit more fluency into his game. 32. I think he's probably one of the grittiest players we've ever had in the game, Ken. He really is such a determined character, and uh, he gets everything he deserves out of the game of snooker, this young player. Because he lived in the shadows of Stephen Hendry, John Higgins, and as I'm filling him full of praise, <laughs> he plays a terrible Four. positional shot. But yeah, he's up there with the big boys now. It's amazing that Scotland have Three world champions, Stephen Hendry, John Higgins, Graham Dot. I think he'll need a little bit more help, I think, to get to this. He'll need the spider. <coughs> he's looking at the one up into the corner, and he's looking to see if he can play it in such a way that he wouldn't leave a pot on. And that's what he's going to do. That one there, I think he can screw back for the black. And the only red he could leave would be this one he's taking on. So. This could give him the frame if this goes in and he gets on the black while well, he's playing for the brown. And it's in. <laughs> well played. Let's see what. Oh, what was that, Graham? Graham Dock, that 45. was a lapse in concentration. No pressure on that at all. He knew straight away he was up. He knew he made a poor contact on that. Shot to tuck in behind the brown, but I feel he must take the brown onto the center pocket. <coughs> Looks like he's got a natural angle to bring himself back up for these reds in the middle of the table. Reds and then those three near the cushion are awkward, but they could be developed in a few shots' time. Thirteen. Well, he would love to just stay on this black pot this middle red get on the black and a nice angle on the black as well to try and as you said develop those other reds tried to bring it out Fault. there but it's not too bad he 
can take a chance here. There you see, just tried to just develop that red into a potable position. But I'm taking this black here, he can take a chance here. Well, he's not going to on this occasion. Maybe the angle is just a little bit too acute for him. Well, he's got a bit of a problem now because he's going to have to go down for the uh, blue or the bulk colours, and it's not going to be easy then to get to those three reds because of the situation of the pink. Uh, what sort of angle is he leaving himself here? I don't know if he can get the blue. It looks a bit straight to me, so it would have to be the greens. The only possible way of getting up to the the reds. In fact, he may have to drop in behind the one next to the pink because looking from that angle, I don't think that one will go. He might be able to get on it, but he could play for the other one. It's available into the middle pocket and the corner pocket if he could drop in behind it. But has he got an angle to screw up there? We'll find out shortly. He might be able to do that. Unlucky. Oh. Unlucky to say the least. 25. He's got to be careful here. He doesn't want to leave that open red. That's a little bit short. Foul. Just a little bit concerned about. I can't. 25. Crammed up. Leaving that open red into a. Possibly down towards the yellow pocket there. Five. Well, has he left it on? Graham Dunn. Well, if this red goes into the top corner pocket, I don't think Graham. I don't think it's in his advantage to put it, put the cue ball back. I think it's certainly worth taking on this red. I think it does pot. Okay, it is difficult, but. Yeah, he's going to need one of the difficult reds. Even if he pots this, he's got to get a colour and then one of those two difficult reds to leave Ali needing a snooker. Now, where's this red going to finish up? Oh, it's on for the middle and look, he's got very little to do. If he leaves the white where the red is, he can pot the black and then cannon that left hand red of the two. So that couldn't have worked out worse from Graham Dot's point of view. If he could get on that red, that would be even better. But all he has to do is leave the uh, cue ball where the red is. One. So if he can get onto the cushion and that red pots, he doesn't have to play the cannon. <coughs> what about that for precision? Eight. Yeah, he's got a lovely angle on this red, hasn't he, Dennis? He can pot this red and just nudge the other red out a little bit more into play, make it easy for himself. Nine. 